all of this inventory that I'm gonna have to sort. And you know what? It gets even more ridiculous than this. We have even more here. Lovely, right? And then we go on out here. Do, 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 do. And we just have all of this. <sighs> How fun. How fun indeed. Let me tell you about the story about my card shop buying experience. Welp. We spent $10,000 on a card shop's inventory. And I want to talk about semantics. Um, why I'm crazy. And, well, the journey for a card shop owner going out of business. It's, it's a very sad thing to see go. But I do want to say, at the end of the day, it is always sad to see a card shop actually disappear and well you know sometimes it happens so this is just the tip of the iceberg um, we got glass cases we got metal shelves I'm planning on working more on my actual living room here I actually just moved about 34 35 bulk boxes of Vanguard bulk out in for storage which is actually breathtaking. Like Vanguard Bulk used to be worth something, but now it's really not. So, what possesses a mad lad to want to do this? Where, Where's the chance encounter with things like this? And why do it? People are always constantly like, Oh, Robbie, you make bad decisions. Dual power was terrible. It wasn't worth it. Um, my bad. So breakdown for this. So one of the biggest chunks of this inventory here is actually Japanese white shores. Um, I definitely, I love Weiss. Um, I think that it is, it's a very big passion of mine. Um, it's a game I love. Um, and seeing, an or the thing that makes this like crazy nuts to me is it's all sorted. Do you know the amount of time that you have to spend on sorted product. So this was just more for my casual hunch. Now we got cool things like this. Um, I still need to look through most of this, but uh, you guys kind of get an idea here, right? Like we got you, we got Pokemon actually, which is pretty exciting. Now. Yu-Gi-Oh! We got about three cases worth of the good stuff. Um, I made three chips there. Now, for Yugi, um, he there's a band box I still need to look through and go through everything to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, I actually think of the band box. Um, a lot of stuff was damaged. That's the thing that saddens me most. Like, yeah, I can play traditional format, but some of the cards like... Mod heavy plate is what it is, but once I start going through things and whatnot, um, we'll see if there was actually hidden gems. Because when I was going through, I didn't see anything that was too crazy. I do know that there was a first edition Yadagarasu, um, but as you can see in the amount, in the, the wasteland here of this, um, I have zero clue where that thing literally flew away to. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, also, there was a lot of fright for Krakens. Which, I don't think it was a very good buyout, but the community went with it. The community was like, oh, this is, this is crazy. Like, let's start grasping at straws here. And, you know, we'll, we'll start to see things. I'm just like, guys, it's, it's not worth it. All right, like, don't do this. And, of course, I didn't get any sealed product for Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, he did, however, <laughs> I got offered some of these. But, uh, <laughs> we don't want more of these. This is bad. Uh, it's not doing too bad. The Ash Blossoms and the Super Volleys. Literally, like, after cost, 
like you're down like two dollars on like 60 cards because the ash blossoms are selling at 550 to six and the super polys are just infinitely sold out of 550s and then like your next best card is literally solemn strike out of that set like those are literally the fastest moving cards everything else you just sit on like you got 47 cards to make a solid investment off of over time and okay so it's not immediate but i'm breaking even like early on so like everything else you get to hold on from that set is profit so over 10k on this what is projected level results well we have anime deck boxes we have anime sleeves um you guys can check out um, my ebay it's always linked down below um i do not have an immediate answer for anybody when certain stuff will go up um I can tell you that I am a single man operating here. I can also tell you that uh, my friends have jobs, and I was only able to do this because of the holidays. Actually, this was probably the best timing ever, because uh, my one friend was literally like, hey, like, I'm off for two weeks. Like, when we went down on Monday, I was like, okay, we got, we loaded up my car the first time. We got, we got the Vanguard. Like, I'm not going to lie, Vanguard is... Vanguard is where I make 90, that's like 95, but like we make a good chunk of money overall for everything that I do. It's Vanguard singles, 100%, because I ship internationally. You know, by the way, this is something I, I want to address everybody here. I ship worldwide, all right? I haven't had an order to Russia yet, but Iceland just actually discovered me, which is actually really cool, by the way. I got one little set of people from Iceland that keep ordering from me, they keep ordering Yu-Gi-Oh! singles from me, it's actually really cool. Like, I actually shipped to uh, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, um, haven't had, uh, South Africa buys a, a good chunk, South Africa needs to calm down and realize that shipping can take more than a month to get there, I can't help that, snail mail. Also, people need to understand that, uh, this is a pet peeve of mine, this, this pisses me off so much. International people buy cards from me, all right? So they pay two fifty for shipping, and then they buy two dollars worth of cards. So their orders four fifty minus fees. You get about like four thirty, and it's like four thirty. It's like four ten. Okay, and then they're like, "Can I have my tracking number?" And you're like, "Dear dear buyer, you spent two fifty, and tracking to your country is fourteen dollars. I do not offer tracking on your four dollar order." I am sorry, and people are like, got my tracking number, and you're just like, no. So, yes, the reason why I'm able to be successful is I figured out the international market. It is risk versus return, quite honestly. Like, you've got to figure out that good medium and whatnot. So, we want to see some things, my audience says. All right, well, let's go on a little journey here with Papa Robbie, and uh, we will see what we've got going on here. Oh, look at that. Oh. Teleport. Oh, dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. All right. So, here we have more of the fun stuff. Do do do. Teleporting on around here. All right. So, when we get around the corner here, you guys, this is the cool little box, as I like to call it. Oh, stuff I need to sort. So we have anime deck boxes all the way down. I'm just going to back up here and uh, show this because uh, that's uh, we're working on. Also, there's the Uncle 40 body pillow. But that's, that's a yikes from me, quite honestly. I'm not looking forward to having to sort any of that, quite honestly. Uh, and then we have the infinite, here, let's zoom in on that. Uh, we have infinite playmats there. Um, I can't wait to actually sort. So, outside of that, oh, here, this is what core inventory looks like. Oh boy, look, it's important cards. Oh boy, look, it's not important cards. I also have more playmats. Rollers. <sighs> it's a struggle out here, man. Let me let me tell you. Side of my videos you don't actually get to see. My stupid living room. <sighs> it's quite fun. 
quite honestly. Hello, Yu-Gi-Oh! Blanket. Hello, inventory. All right, so. Ta-da! Ha-ha! Ah, come back to me. So, that is everything. And I am very overwhelmed. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, some would say I'm crazy. Yeah, I know. But I love what I do. I wouldn't change a thing in the world about this game. And quite honestly, I love bad level investments like this. Because these are always worthwhile. And sometimes you get really cool dead card games that you can just enjoy. I'm really looking forward to going through this stuff. Dude, the game's dead. But it happens. So guys, what do you think? It's gonna be a fun time. And right, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Card Fight Vanguard, Fancole 40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.